Jack, can you please tell us uh, how you first got involved with England Deaf? It was the first match with Northampton Police and we played at Northampton Club. Well, I came to watch and that's when I first got involved. I met Tony, he was the chairman at the time. So we explained how to join and that I'd have to wait until I was 18 and then, yeah, I waited until I was 18 and then I got involved. That was back in 2013. And now being one of our experienced senior players, Jack, can you tell us how you've seen the improvement since you've been involved? There's more cohesion within the team. The players link well and it was great to beat Wales and I'd look forward to beating them again in the future. So looking forward, Jack, with the year we've got ahead, we've got fixtures against New Zealand. We've got the potential of playing some sevens competitions and a lot more community fixtures. Can you please tell us what excites you for the season ahead? I'm really looking forward to New Zealand. It'll be great to have a match with them. And we'll get a good crowd. I think it'll spread a lot of awareness and the team will continue to grow. And for those people who are unaware of Deaf Rugby Jack, would you say you have any restrictions being profoundly deaf when you're training or playing games with the England Deaf setup? Oh, I feel that it's an equal playing field. I can communicate with everyone. It's great. So what would you say to anybody who's unsure of coming along and getting involved? I would encourage them to get involved. I would encourage them to tell other deaf people. It helps build confidence. It's a great game. All right, thank you, Jack. Thank you.